all you're going to do on this item here is I'm going to place it up to your nose and you're just going to inhale like so. It is one of a kind. I really like it, you know, it's gotten me through a lot and it's something that I can always rely on. Okay. Good, good. Mm. Ask you to please tell me what color is this? What color is this right here? I just need to know what color do you see right here? I'm gonna have you focus on this object for as long as you can. Going left to right, okay? very squishy fruits. Can you identify both of these fruits for me, please? I just want to make sure we look over those x-rays one more time, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and have you and uh, Dr. Lawrence go ahead and just take care of all those for me. And today's five o'clock appointment. I need to move to tomorrow. Yeah, Jeremy's Jolly Games is having a deal today and i uh, got to make sure I get that sale before it's too late. Thank you. Bye-bye, Deborah. Hey there. Mm. It's great to see you. Yeah, yeah, please, please. Sorry, I'm just clocking in now. I see you've already made yourself comfortable here in the office, which is good. You know, you want to make sure you stay comfortable at all times. It's good to see you, Dr. Jenkins. Of course, of course, it seems like today you're here for your uh, cranial nerve exam. Is that correct? Good, good. Let me go ahead and pull up your file here. We'll uh, explain everything we're going to be doing today and uh, go from there. If you have any questions, just let me know. Okay. So let me just go ahead and start with your member number. All right. Yeah, how about them cowboys, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm just going to confirm some information with you. Uh, first name, last name, and your current home of address. Okay, good. And a good email to reach out to you. Awesome. And would you like to add a phone number onto your account? I noticed we don't have one. Not today. No worries. We're just going to go ahead and get through your exam. So, as I get all my tools ready, I'm going to explain to you exactly what we're doing today. I'm just going to like to start off with a nice uh, antibacterial lotion. Not only is this... Uh, you know, sanitizing my hands, because I will be touching your face. Um, but it's a nice smell, too. It's a... kind of like, uh, like a flowery smell. Yeah. Sometimes it helps, uh, you know, relax some of the patients. So, I'm just gonna make sure that's ran through. Okay. Now, anything new coming up? Anything uh, that you need my attention be brought to? Pain anywhere? some soreness. Is that on your back? All right. And do you work out often? What's your uh, activity schedule looking like on a weekly basis? Work out twice a week. That's good. We do recommend that. I'd like to see if we can bring that up to three times a week. You know, that's the average we like to aim for. Oh, of course, busy job. You know, got to make sure you take care of business first. I completely understand that. I just remember your health is priority at all times. So, soreness in your back. How about your knees? Yeah, are you doing a lot of running on treadmills around the neighborhood? You run on a treadmill. Okay, now what does that look like? How often? Just that twice a week. Okay, are we looking at 30 minutes, an hour? Okay. All right. Yeah, I know. So I'll go ahead and be testing your reflexes on your knees today as well. Just because I know treadmills, running, putting a lot of pressure on your knees can really affect your joints over time. So I'm just going to make sure everything's looking good. And we're going to start by helping you relax by breathing in one of 
our nebulizers, okay? Ah, uh, don't worry, we don't put anything too uh, heavy in there. It's just a nice, very calm sedative that'll help me, uh, you know, work a little bit better and keep you in a relaxed state at all times. Yeah. Uh, it's completely harmless, okay? So, all you're gonna do with this item here is I'm gonna place it up to your nose and you're just gonna inhale, like so. I'm breathing in through the mouth this time. All right, it just helps open up the passageway and helps, you know, relax you and just keep you in that nice euphoric state. So go ahead and hold still for me. Just take a breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Good, good, good. Yeah, I know, it smells really nice. And this time we're gonna go in through your mouth. Fill up your lungs, fill them up. And out. Good, good, how's that feel? Feels good, okay, <laughs> nice. All right, so first things first is we're gonna go ahead and start with your vitals. Just gonna have you breathe for me again. You're gonna follow my breathing patterns exactly. Okay. Here we are. I'm just gonna get a little close to you now. Okay. All right. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Okay. Good. 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 On this side for me. In through your nose. Good, good. Everything's looking tip-top. Do you ever experience any uh, hard time breathing, you know, when working out or doing anything that's, you know, exerting a lot of energy? Mm -hmm. Okay, sports are always fun if you feel a little lightheaded. Okay, good. You know, a lot of times that's just because people are forgetting to breathe in through their nose and out through their mouth. We have a lot of mouth breathers that like to almost hyperventilate through their mouth. While, you know, when excited, it's the first thing your brain might want to do. I urge you to calm yourself in those moments. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just like that. Good. All right. So... That's looking good. I'm just going to go ahead and do a slight light eye test. You know, it's going to be very basic, very standard. Give me a sec. So, actually, I'm going to start with the simple one here. This is my pen light. It is one of a kind. I really like it, you know. It's gotten me through a lot, and something that I can always rely on. So, I'm gonna go ahead and have you just cover one eye for me. Okay, good, and I'm just gonna see your eyes reflux time here. Okay. Good, good. Mm. Okay. All right. Can swap over for me. We're gonna switch eyes. Okay. Okay. Any uh, any difference in both eyes when you know viewing both sides? So left a little bit more blurry. Right a little bit more blurry. You're okay. Struggling, squinting a lot with your left eye. Okay. Uh, no, I did notice that your pupils dilated a little slower on the left side there, so I completely understand, you know, if that's the case, which is completely normal. Uh, you still seem to have very good vision. If, you know, any of your past eye exams have anything to say, it looks like you've gotten perfect scores almost every single time. So, it's totally fine as we get older for our vision to come down, but it's nothing to worry about at all. It's very natural. Okay. Alright, another very basic test here. Grab my pen light. 
play one more time. And we're going to go ahead and just do something very basic. You're just going to show me how many fingers I'm holding up. Okay? As fast as you can when you come, when you see them come in, okay? Fantastic. Yeah. Looks like those uh, past exams weren't lying. Your vision is uh, well above the average, which is good. Do you uh, play any video games? Are you close to a computer screen? Harsh lights? Anything like that? Hmm. Okay, now how often are you in front of a tablet, smartphone, video game screen? Okay, so you sit in front of a computer for the majority of your days. Are you wearing any blue light glasses? Anything similar to that? No. Okay, so I'm just put a note here to get you scheduled for an upcoming blue light glasses um, fitting and uh, prescription. Because I do think if you're spending a lot of time in front of a blue screen, you're going to definitely need something like that. Okay, so... Awesome. Alright, now that those are done, we're going to go ahead and just take a much deeper look into your pupils, and I'll be taking a look at your ears as well. Okay, good. Of course. Uh, it shouldn't be much longer. I'll do my best to speed up the process, but we here do like to take care of our patients to the fullest extent, so I do apologize if you have a, a place to be, but we're going to go ahead and just make sure we're doing all these the right pace properly. Okay. All right. So, this here is just another light device that helps magnify the way I'm able to look into your eye. Okay. Just go ahead and just stare into this light. It's looking good, actually. Once again, stare to this light. Just trying to test exactly where you're at. Go 
go ahead and read line number six for me. Line number six. Take your time. Take your time. Okay. All right. No worries. I'm going to need you to swap over that spoon. Good. Now we're going to be doing this off of your right eye. Okay. The same thing. Line number one. Good. So you can see it perfect. We'll do line number two for me, if you don't mind. Line number two. Good. 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 Okay. Now we're just going to throw a Hail Mary here. Go ahead and read the last line on the bottom for me. Just the final line. To your best, best of your abilities. Okay. Good, good. No worries. I'll take that spoon from you as well. No, no. Like I said, the eye test is probably my favorite part of the exam. That one is extremely simple, very easy to conduct, and easy for the patient as well. If you'll excuse me. Oh, this, it's my favorite mug. Yeah, bought it for, bought it myself. Yeah, yeah, I am my own boss, but you know, I just got her out of Spencer's Gifts right down the road. It's a really, really fine establishment, and I highly recommend checking it out if you're into fun novelty gifts. Mm. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and move into, uh, looking at um, a color spectrum here and just finish off the eye test with something very simple, something that will almost use that creative part of your mind, okay? okay. In front of me, I have over 100 different shades of colors. Now, these colors can range anywhere from the absence of color um, to all colors put together, which is white, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and just pick a random shade. I'm going to pick a random color, and I just need you to associate an object you might see. A very simple object, something that we can all relate to. Um, water is clear, right? A lot of people like to say it's blue. That is just the reflection from the sky. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're not going to get too technical. So if you said the uh, sky is blue, it's blue. We're just going to say it's blue. Uh, fire can be red, you know, orange, yellows. But most people associate fire with the color red. So things like that. Okay, let's go ahead and just fan out all of these. Very, very good. Okay. We're going to start with this color. Right here. What color is that? Yes. Just try to identify this color and give me an object that, um, you know, this color can be related to. Of course. Good. Good. Blue. Now what's something out there that's blue? Blueberries. Perfect. You are definitely getting it. Awesome. So, we're going to do another, another shade here. Just give me one second. Okay. Here we go. It's okay. Just need you to go ahead and tell me. something you've seen before that you associate green with. Money. Fantastic. Again, you are totally understanding. Sometimes with patients, I need to uh, explain this part multiple times. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, it's part of the job. I don't try my best to be, you know, as nice as possible as understanding. You know, I may have gone to medical school for eight years of my life, and most patients haven't, so... I have to make sure, you know, I'm, I'm not using big fancy words like hydroflanaxinate, you know, very basic words like that, or, 
or um, let's see, xyloconolophil. You know, yeah, those are words that people like you and me would understand, because you know we're smart, and most people don't. So we're gonna do it one more time. something that you would associate with this. Hmm? Well, first, I'm gonna ask you to please tell me what color is this? What color is this right here? I just need to know what color do you see right here? Pink. Good, 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 good. Now, what is something that's pink? Bubblegum. Fantastic. You did absolutely amazing on that. I'm gonna log in your answers here. And that's about it for your eyes. Okay, we're gonna go and move on to, uh, let's see. Hmm, we can possibly do your ears. We can do touch as well. Okay, how about we do a little, little bit of the fun ones, huh? Something that you might think belongs to, uh, a baby. We like to use very simple, colorful toys to help stimulate the mind when making decisions. So, if you don't mind, just humor me. Okay. This may just seem like a um, children's toy. Maybe a little rink -a dink thing, but I can assure you this object here is going to help me calibrate your brain. I'm going to have you focus on this object for as long as you can. Going left to right, okay? I'm going to turn this on in just a sec. And I need you to just relax. Empty your mind. Okay, good. You ready? Good. Go ahead and just look here. Look here. Focus, focus, focus. sense at the end. Okay. Okay, just keep looking. Over here. Good. How about down here? Good. Okay. See? Simple enough, huh? <laughs> well, I don't really do much. I just like to prove the fact that whenever a doctor asks you, most patients will just blindly follow, so I want to bet with my assistant. Yeah. I just like to, uh, you know, play a couple games here and there, have a little fun, you know. <laughs> but, back to business. I'm gonna go ahead and play a game with you that is going to uh, test your facial senses, nerves, whatever you want to call it. This game is called Soft or Sharp. They call it Sharp and Dull, but I like to use a soft cotton tip because it's just a bit more stimulating for your senses. So, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this cotton stick and this pokey stick and I'm just going to either poke or do that. And you're going to tell me if you feel something sharp or if you feel something soft, okay? Close your eyes. Good, good. Soft. Senses are looking good. With that, we're going to test your reflexes. This is rubber 
It's not hard. You can't really do much damage with it at the strength that I'm swinging. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask for your arm, if you can extend it for me. I'm going to be hitting one of your nerves right here to see if, you know, it kicks. Okay? Okay, good, good. You do say you work out, so this should be pretty easy. reaction time, which is what we're looking for. We want to make sure that you stay as stable as possible while doing so. <laughs> yeah, I, I have been kicked multiple times, but it's mainly children. Uh, I switched from pediatrics over to adults because, you know, those kids, they'll pretend you're hitting them and give you a good old, you know, it's all those violent video games they're playing, I think, but it's fine. Kids will be kids. Okay, now, this in no way is meant to be degraded. decisions, okay, and just kind of gauge where your mentality is at as well, so we have two objects here. Both of them are very squishy fruits. Can you identify both of these fruits for me, please? An orange. Good. And what is this? A strawberry. Perfect. So, the, um, main sense of this test is to just get your uh, awareness. Right now, the orange is in my right hand, and strawberry is in my left hand. If at any time you see these fruits swap, you let me know, okay? Swamped again, Ben. 
if you had to choose one of these items for a very nutritious snack, which item do you think will offer uh, more beneficial health effects rather than the other? The orange. Fantastic. Excellent source of vitamin C. While strawberries are great for you, most of them that are sold in stores contain a lot of pesticides, whereas the orange, for the most part, is untouched. Put that in there. Fruit test passed. Okay. I have a similar decision test here. Okay, ready? These are bags of chips. Very crinkly. Something you really shouldn't be eating. But if you had a choice, would you rather have? Doritos or Lay's. What do you think? Doritos or Lay's. Okay. Doritos wins. And I completely understand. Now I'm going to need you to close your eyes and just relax. Just listen, okay? meant to help relax you. Next up is going to be a simple listening test. I have two plastic cups here. Now when I do this, you hear it in one ear. You hear that in one ear as well. All I'm going to do is ask you to close your eyes and whichever Here I'm tapping in. Put that hand up for me. We're going to start off very slow and then of course get a bit faster. Okay. Are you ready? Good. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Fantastic. you to smell some essential oils for me, okay? This is going to be one of our final tests. And this test is just to uh, get that sense of smell, okay? So here, I have a dropper that contains an essential oil. It's meant to be clear. All of them are. They're meant to help you get the key notes in each fragrance without giving away too much information about what it's supposed to smell like. So, all I'm going to ask you to do is smell this for me and let me know what it is. Strawberry. Got it right on the money. Let me grab another one here. Okay, I'm just gonna activate the scent real quick. Good. Good and 
smell that for me. Cinnamon. Very nice. Now, did you find that one to be too strong? You didn't. Okay. And this is going to be our final, final scent. What does that smell like? here, and it looks like you're all good to go. And actually, ended up coming out absolutely perfect. Now, if I may, I'm probably going to say that you're my new favorite patient. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while, and I'd like to see you more often, so if you want to come back into the office anytime, you're more than welcomed. It's no problem whatsoever. You have yourself a great day, okay? Of course. Thank you very much for coming in today. It's been a pleasure. And don't forget to smile. Because <laughs> that's what it's all about. Okay. Goodbye now. Have a wonderful day. I'll have Deborah get that prescription and set up your next appointment.